Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Ride Share Revolutionaries. It's me, Gio, the leader of the Ride Share Revolution, the Ride Share Rockstar, and the captain of the 2K Club, and the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the bearded less driver YouTube. And we're going to talk about a couple things today uh, maximizing earnings, driving efficiently. And why are there so many haters on YouTube? I don't get it. All right, so first, um, quick rundown of today. Uh, overslept the, I mean, no, nah, just laziness. I was lazy. I uh, I think I woke up around 4.30, but I didn't get out of bed. Uh, no, I woke up around 4, but I probably didn't leave my bed till like 4.40. Took a quick shower, uh, warmed up the car. Fixed up my protein shakes and then got in the car around 5.15, turned the app on, got a ping maybe like three blocks away from my house uh, uh, going to the airport. So no dead miles that way. But then when I dropped that lady off, uh, it was 5.40ish in the morning. So I'm like, okay, I definitely don't want to take any rides around because I got to make my way towards the city. Traffic was heavy. I probably didn't do my next ride till 6.10, I'm going to say. Let's take a look. Let's see if I'm full of shit on that one. Uh, 6.06, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a busy morning. Lots of lots of rides. Um, but good stuff nonetheless, as you guys can see there. So... Uh, I got in the car around 5.10, I guess, and turned the app off around 9.15, so for four hours, but three hours and 40 minutes on app, that's not right. Well, maybe it was, yeah. Uh, let's just say four and a half hours, I made 155 bucks, but on app, you know, 155, so not bad. Um, this is turning out to be probably this at the moment is the best week ever driving wise in terms of efficiency, because I've already, I've been, that number actually should be 543. One of my executive trip bonuses has still not been applied. I've already hit the first tier of quest. So I'm at $543 in 14 hours. Um, it's really good. I got a $20 cash tip from this old lady at the airport, or did an airport ride yesterday. Helped her with the luggage, got a, got a cash tip, and then I'm at $37 on Lyft. So I'm already at $600 um, in two days. One and a half days. <laughs> uh, literally can't get much better than that. And it's you can't get much more of that because look at this guys look how many miles that's how many you can go ahead and go back to sunday's video to when i showed how many miles i had in the car then i am making more than two dollars per mile this week i haven't finished a second tier quest yet i'm not gonna get any lift promos um just killing it absolutely killing it uh, this will be probably my best week ever, honestly, because on Uber, I'm at like $38 an hour right now. Um, and in terms of efficiency, I'm over $2 per mile. Like that is not, I've never, I think my best, I mean, my even my per trip average is, is probably really good right now. Let's go back to Uber. So 543 divided by 36. Let's go to the calculator. Let's clear that. 543 divided by 36. $15 per ride on Uber. Every single one of these rides is UberX, guys. UberX or pool. Every single one. And if you want to add cash, oh, let's not, let's not even add cash. Um, I don't do select. I don't do black. I don't do XL. I do only Uber X. And my per ride average is 15 fucking dollars. Those that's hard on select. Trust me, that's not easy. Um and it's all about strat. It's honestly, it's all about knowing your market, knowing the traffic patterns 
And I think the reason I want to do this, I, I want to have such an efficient week, is to show you guys someone who, who like me, who does take pride in this, who considers himself a very good rideshare driver, a professional, even I can do better. Even I can improve. Even I can find ways to maximize earnings. Like, let's say I keep up... Right, let's do the math. If I do 543 divided by 14... There you go. Right now I'm at 38.78 per hour, right? Let's just times that by 50, which we all know is not hard for me. There you go. If I do 50 hours, if I maintain that, <laughs> I will probably hit 2K in a little over 50 hours this week, which will be my best week ever. It's really hard to maintain an hourly average like that, guys. So it's probably going to dip a little bit here and there. It's probably going to swing back, but... At the moment, kicking ass. But this is one thing I want to ask you guys. Uh, couldn't help but notice this when I was checking my... I know a lot of YouTubers don't really show this this part of the game. This is my YouTube studio app. This is how you show... You know, you can pretty much check all your analytics on this app. Um, and, yeah. So... Like, for example, the watch time for the last month, views, subscribers, ad revenue, all that stuff you could check on your app. So I was checking my video from yesterday. Why am I playing with this? Sorry, guys. I was checking my videos from yesterday, and I couldn't help but notice my like to dislike ratio. All right? 69 likes for my video yesterday, 9 dislikes. Can someone explain to me who I offended with yesterday's video. What, what fucking delicate little, little child I managed to hurt their feelings by saying I made $40 an hour yesterday. I mean, I personally don't understand <laughs> what is there to dislike about these videos? You know, I mean, I, I have been ca more careful with, with how I'm choosing my words lately because I don't want to push people away. But me showcasing, you know, the result of knowledge of the market, you know, and app, the app features like destination filters, somehow that's so offensive to nine people. They're just like, oh, well, fuck, fuck Geo, dislike. Guys, I, I, you know, I know some of you, I have a feeling I know who one of those people is, um, but I know that I've kind of ruined the narrative of other, of other YouTubers that say there's no money driving. There is money driving. You just can't be lazy. You have to show, you have to be self-motivated. You got to get out there. You know, you got to... You got to make sacrifices here and there. You know, me, I fucking have a $2,000 Tempur-Pedic. Guess what? I could sleep on the thing for a month if I wanted to. But I choose to leave the comfort of my Tempur-Pedic to go make money. Because the kind of money in less than 20 hours that I've spent behind the wheel of this car this week, I've already made what I would have made in 50 hours in my previous job. But nine of you are so offended by that. You can't handle it. So I guess the point of this video is one to showcase how uh, driving efficiently works. Right, let's go back to driving efficiently really quick. I know I'm all over the place, which I'm surprised in this way because I haven't had caffeine yet. Uh, let's 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 say I I, I double how many miles and uh, let's say I make twice as much as the miles I drove this week. Right? Let's say I drive. 1100 miles and I make 2200 bucks if you drive efficiently that's less stress on the car that's less fuel you have to put into it that's less time you spent in the car like I really do think that's something that I don't see stressed enough on YouTube when it comes to driving is is really maximizing earnings and being more efficient with your time 
you know, everyone says uh, work smart, not hard. You, you do have to work smart, but you also have to work hard. You know, it's not... I know some of the older YouTubers are mad because the money used to just fall in their lap. It doesn't happen anymore, guys. You cannot wake up at 10 in the morning and be like, where's all the fucking money? I don't understand how I'm not making money. I know why you're not making money. You're waking up at 10 in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Wake up earlier. We can't. Well, then you don't want it. Stop making excuses. If you want to make money in this game, you got to get after it. You are self-employed, okay? If you want to get the money that... If you want to make the money I'm making, you got to you gotta chase it. No one... Let's go back to my Uber. Let's go back here. You see a referral bonus in there anywhere? No, this is all money from driving. I did this all on my own. Yeah, let's go back, because I know some of you are going to be like, yeah, I think I saw a referral bonus. No, no referral bonus. That's all money driving. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be making that much money. Fuck yeah. Why not? Haven't hit the K in a little while. <laughs> Might as well do it in record time, right? With the least miles I've ever put on the car in a full week. So I guess that's it. That's it all I got for this one, guys. Uh just want to highlight again. Uh, you know, I think I could I could try to break down more of like really how to be the most efficient driver in Chicago, but this, this won't help a lot of you because, like, I don't know your markets. I'm not a certain uh, hack on YouTube who pretends to know about every market in the country. I don't know your market. I don't. I've had emails from Texas, from California. I can't help you guys. You can try to apply what I put in my videos, but I can't tell you how to make money in your city. You know? But in terms of what Chicago drivers deal with, I can try to... I could try to do something more detailed for, you know, definitely minimizing dead miles and, and uh, you know, increasing efficiency and all that kind of stuff, but it'll take me a little bit of time. But I think I want to do it. So that's the point of this one. Uh, you know, no dead miles, efficiency, and uh, why do you all hate people that make money? Just uh, what do you guys think, right? That's all I got. Happy Tuesday, guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Everyone stay safe, stay stay driven, stay classy, and bye-bye.